Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Shisha Zed, and I'm back. Got a new video for you. You know how it goes. We're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get it. Here's something interesting that I've noticed, man, within the past, I'd say like five months, reacting to these posts that I find online. Recently, I've been reacting to a lot of like Instagram posts. Again, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you give me a follow. Even if you just want to say what's up, check me out, Chisha Zed. But here's something I've picked up. Women will come on my show, especially the no cap show, and they'll be full of cap, right? And they'll go on other platforms and you see women getting asked simple questions that have to do with like relationships, dating, etc and they'll be full of cap. But this is in person, right? This isn't a live interaction. But I've noticed if you really wanna see women speak the truth, the only place women will keep it a buck is online, you know? Underneath that Instagram post. That leads me to our video for today. I'll be reacting to a post by the Instagram account called Spiritual Word. I've done them before in the past and we're just going to get right into it, man. But but real quick, women don't keep it real in person. Most times when you ask them full of cap, right? When you ask them questions, especially when it has to do with like dating relationships, they will lie their ass off. But watch how they respond to questions underneath the Instagram post. Now they're anonymous, right? Now they can keep it real. So as usual, I'm minding my own business on Instagram when a subscriber tags me in this post. Here's what it said. So this is a woman who posted this and the post said, how the F are we supposed to find new if all of y'all homeboys? And so this chick is basically asking, wait, if things don't work out between me and you, how am I supposed to replace my old n if I can't go after his friends, right? If all y'all are homeboys, cause she wants your friends. That's her next prospect. Oh, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> That's what she wants. But man, I'm not going to go into this. I'm going to let the women tell you themselves. Let's check out these comments. But before we check out these comments, I need you guys to hit that like button. Let's get this channel pushed. And if you don't usually hit that like button, consider hitting it today. Do me that favor. Appreciate you all. Let's get into these comments. So our first commenter said, sometimes niggas come in your life so you can meet their homeboys. Exclamation mark, God's plan with the heart, not the Drake reference. Not the Drake reference. Listen, man, women truly believe this. If she's done with you and she looks at your homeboy and he's looking good, right? If she views him as attractive, alpha, He's got the same characteristics as you. Most likely, that's why you kick it with them, right? Because like-minded people spend time together. It's only natural that she probably will find your boy attractive, bro. This is why it's dangerous, man. And I always say, don't be the type of guy who with you, when you hang out with your girl, you bring her around all your friends. She's getting well acquainted with the men around you. She's choosing. Especially if the relationship is rocky. She's choosing, bro. Does a woman know that she's choosing? Yeah, she knows. She's not gonna tell you that, but of course she's gonna find the guys that you hang out with attractive. Why? Because they are like you, right? It's just simple math, man. So again, this is why I'm against people who think like, oh yeah, just bring your girl, have her hang out with all your boys. Personally for myself, I don't do that. Now, do I keep and hide my chick from all my um, male friends? No, I just mean making that like something that's done all the time will bite you in the ass. It's just gonna be natural for her to find some of your friends attractive. Why? Because they're probably just like you, right? And a lot of women justify it with, oh, I think this is where God wants me to be. Maybe my ex was supposed to lead me to, they, they, they really believe that. It's not a joke, right? But anyways, let's check out the rest of these comments. This commenter said, we date the homeboys, dot, 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 simple. No negotiation. You think she cares that he's to be your boy? If she thinks that that's her soulmate? Yeah, her soulmate who she wants to bust those cheeks, right? Because you've been bringing her all around your friends. She's gotten a taste of different personalities. You think she cares? Guys, women don't think like men. There's no 
principle of like do what's right and this this that no women get told to follow their heart and don't add emotional connection in that to all you guys who like taking your girl and showing her off and kicking it with your boys acting like she's one of the guys just know that more than likely there is a few of your guy friends that she would smash and probably will when she's done with you Oh, bro, my friends are loyal. They'll never do that to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Come on, bro. We're talking about us here and men who lack discipline. This commenter says, I don't give an F. I'll take your cousin if he cute. Damn. Now, she really doesn't care, man. And here's something to remember, guys. Men are greedy. Women are cutthroat. Right. Men are greedy. Women are cutthroat. Meaning this. If a man is attracted to his woman and he steps out of that relationship and cheats. With another woman, he finds equally attractive, even though that woman he cheated with is better, even though he believes she is better than his actual chick, his actual girl. A man will say, why can't I have them both? That's the way men think. We're greedy. We want both. But women are different, right? If a woman is with the man who she thinks is okay, she thinks he's good enough and he's doing the best he can, but she meets his boy and she's just like, oh man, this guy's way better than what I have. And she mentally checks out. She's now going to leave him right and mess with him only if she finds your boy attractive and she feels like the two of them have a stronger connection she'll cut you off fast not slow women are cutthroat in that way if she feels like this man was meant for me oh my gosh we just have something and it's so special i'm not gonna let you come in between what god has for me <laughs> right She'll cut you off. Plain and simple. So men are greedy when it comes to relationships and women. Women are cutthroat. This commenter said, that's easy. Date his homeboys and or his dad. Oh man. With the laughing emoji. She thinks it's funny. This commenter says, right? Now I'm a homie hopper if I get with the friend. With the emoji where she looks like she's sorry, but she's not sorry. Listen, she doesn't give a F. She doesn't care. Yes, you are a homie hopper because you hop from one BBC to the next. Fast, not slow. This commenter said, that's why you got to keep him friend zone till you meet all his homies first with the laughing emojis. Never let a woman friend zone you. But for guys out there who don't understand female nature, that's good advice. This commenter says, laugh out loud. Like, let's go to my friend's house. Pull up and it's your ex. Ooh, I hate it here. That's what she says, right? So she pulls up with her man and finds out that his friend is her ex. She belongs to the streets. This commenter says, for real, you know the fine ones travel in packs. Like gang members? Yeah, this chick likes thugs. The fine ones travel in packs. <laughs> oh, sh well, some with the upside down um, emoji right there. The fine ones travel in packs. Guys, don't don't fall for that. You know what I mean? You don't have to travel in a pack. So this next commenter is a guy and he says, if you F with my boy, unless I put him onto you, you wasn't really my mans. You know, with the laughing emojis. Here, here's the thing. Here's a misconception a lot of guys have. Is you guys falsely assume that your boy will turn down from your ex. If she's just throwing it at him. If she's throwing it at him, he most likely will take it. He most likely will disappoint you. I'm sorry, guys are most men don't have that type of sexual discipline. They do not. I know you think your boy is solid, he would never do you like that, but you just gotta realize, bro, if she's fine, right? And she's throwing it at him. Just think of all the celebrities that you've seen have gone through this, right? Think of Amarion, the one dude in the NFL, 
a lot of guys overestimate their circle's loyalty when it comes to the men they keep around them. Women know. Women know. They just don't tell you. When you break up with your chick, it's going to be your friends who are in her DMs asking about, so what happened? Is everything okay? Wow, man. You know, and they'll be slick with it too. Like, you know, I really liked you together. I hope you guys work things out. Women know what they're doing, right? And they know if they wanted to give it to them, they would take it. And guys, it's more than loyalty here. You're, you're going against the man's natural instinct to want to smash everything in sight. This is why I say leave room for human error by just avoiding bringing your woman around your friends consistently all the time. You guys that are out here doing this, it's a problem. When you look at situations where women cheat, a lot of the times they will most likely cheat with their coworkers. Why? Because those are the people they spend the most time with. It's just natural. So avoid the headache by not bringing your girl around your friends. And F what anybody says about, oh, bro, that's so insecure, man. I'm not insecure. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keep it up. Sure. Will I bring my girl around my guy friends that they meet her once? Yeah, sure. Once in a while. But will it be a consistent thing where now they have inside jokes and, oh, yeah, I saw your girl over here and she helped me with this and blah, blah, blah. Avoid it. Avoid it. I'm just telling you as it is. Avoid it. If you're doing it, you're effing up. I think something that I don't usually talk about that I'll start addressing more, man, is male nature. Right. Don't forget that even with the people who you're closest to, they view you as competition. I'm talking about men here. Yes, your friends. Yes, even some of my best friends. There is healthy competition. And sometimes it's not healthy, right? But there's a level there of if, she, if he thinks your girl is fine, it is a sort of conquer for him to be able to smash your chick. That comes natural to a man. And don't let her be fine because now you've upped the temptation for that worst part of male nature to come out. Male nature wants to take what's yours. Men are competitive. He wants to conquer you. This is what men do. Survival of the fittest. Now, I'm not saying that you know, avoid having friends and all this. Just understand that it is most likely not a good idea to always keep your chick around your male friends. That's what I really want to get across in this video. Male nature is real, man. Are there men out there who are cool and who are loyal? Yeah, I know there's, there's some solid individuals out there. But most likely, a lot of men don't have that part of them tamed to the point where they can deny coochie. A man who's able to deny coochie for the sake of any type of principle whatsoever, that's real strength and most men have not mastered that. Most men have not learned to master that. Most men are not learning to go against that nature of just bowing down to the cooch, no matter what it is, the opportunity to smash a chick, even if it's your homeboy's girl, you're gonna take it. Why? Because you haven't trained yourself to say no. That's true strength, right? That's true alpha. Not putting what's between a woman's legs on a pedestal. A lot of men don't have that discipline. And it's not that he's a bad person in most situations. He's just not learned to discipline himself. I'll tell you guys, out of all my friends, and I don't have a lot of them, when I say friends, I'm talking about people who are very close to me. I think I know a couple of guys who I think would battle that temptation if, let's say, you know, I brought my girl around him and I told her, hey, you know what? tempt him try to and then the rest of guys who i know eh. when i look at guys in the past because right now guys i don't have a lot of like super close friends the older i've gotten my circle's gotten really small but if i look back friends i've known in the past oh they're they're smashing fast not slow think of yourself you think that you wouldn't but would you would you really be able to control yourself if she was bad as hell you should, but most likely 
I say avoid putting yourself in that type of situation overall, right? Because these women, man, they don't care. They're looking for the next best thing. Hypergamy is kicking in. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. If you didn't do it earlier, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all. Till next time, my name is Chisha Zed. I'm out. Peace.